we have passed this uh, very small, uh, not well-known piece of legislation, an infrastructure bill. Yes. Yes. I've heard about this. Yes. Do you know what happens in 2026, according to this document? Tell me. Your car will have a kill switch in it. Oh, really? Every car new from 2026 forward is mandated by this infrastructure bill to have a kill switch. It goes further. Okay. It is an algorithm in your car that you buy, that you pay your own money for. Right. Okay. Now, for the avoidance of that, this is taking the text directly from the 2,700-page document. So this document calls out a kill switch. That's what I'm calling it, but it's a mandatory defeat switch that not only gives others the ability to kill your car, to shut your car down, right? but it also uses algorithms to sense your current state. So let's extrapolate that out a little bit. Let's say for the sake of discussion you're a drunk driver. Or let's say for the sake of discussion, it senses that you're an erratic driver. Perhaps you're experiencing an emotional breakdown. Uh-huh. This algorithm, and we don't know what the parameters, like the document says nothing about what those parameters are. That's so good. It simply says mandatory kill switch that is an algorithm that can read the driver and can understand the actions of the driver and then shut the vehicle down or won't even let you switch on the vehicle and proceed on your journey. Does a law enforcement agency, do they need a warrant to go and switch your car off? Mm -hmm. Or can they just, at free will, switch your car off? What about the data that comes off? Do I want my insurance company to know how, how fast I drive in the canyons? Not really. No. Do I want my insurance company to know that perhaps when I'm late for a flight, I might drive a bit more aggressively? No. And what they do is they turn it around on you and they sell this concept of well safe drivers they're overpaying for insurance so we're taking this data to give you good people of the car buying public we're giving you a discount all right guys so welcome back thank you for hanging out and spending a few moments here with me if you're new definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now, the two gentlemen having the discussion in the beginning of this video, uh, I feel like did a great job of articulating what the kill switch was and also to the monitoring system that just got passed and is going to be implemented in vehicles 2026 and on. Um, now, if you want to see the full video and the discussion that they had, I'm going to put it in the description below. This way you guys can see the full context and the full discussion that they had. Uh, it was very interesting. And uh, this is something that I was very fearful of happening. Your car basically ratting you out, okay? Uh, as a person that has had multiple tickets uh, with red light cameras, you don't really know what's happening until you get it, that ticket in the mail with the evidence that showed that you were doing something. And I feel like this new software that's going to be monitoring how fast you're going is going to start sending you tickets. Okay. Um, you know, if it's a 55 and it's a 65, uh, you're going 65, uh, you know, that's 10 miles over the speed limit ticket. You know, uh, if you are uh, speeding or doing anything wrong, uh, authorities will likely be alerted through your your software of the vehicle and uh, you know you can you're basically driving around with a, a tattletale okay your car is basically going to be telling on you on everything that they do and if you don't stop for authorities or you don't do anything uh, you're not doing what you're told um, the car will just flat out stop you know and you, you you won't be able to drive it and this is something that is going to absolutely kill the the car community uh, a lot of people might think that this is not going to affect them, but how many of you guys tell your, uh, you know, your insurance companies that you go to the drag strip with your street car? Um, you know, this, they're going to be monitoring where you are, how fast you're going, what you're doing, uh, and you know, a lot of people like myself think that you know we can we can sh shut it off like uh, four cylinder mode in a car. It's not going to be like that. You know, you shut it off, and authorities will get likely. Uh, alerted that uh, this thing has been you know messed with and uh, basically anything 
with horsepower is going to be useless. Okay, you will likely just you're better off just getting a golf cart and putting around and going 40, 50 miles an hour because anything with a little bit of horsepower in the future, if you accelerate too quickly, you know, even if you're not over the speed limit is against the law. If you take a look at some of the tickets out there, uh, it said accelerating too quickly. That's an actual ticket, guys. Uh, so, you know, you're basically going to be getting uh, constantly ratted out uh, by your car. And, the you know, where does it end? You know, the, the software that's implemented in the car could be sold to the government or sold to the, the insurance company, sold to whoever. Um, and you are basically just, uh, I don't know. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to put a, a couple more interesting points of that discussion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. I, I, if I can make a suggestion is get a car within the immediate future, because what's going to be released in the far future is not what you're going to want. My concern about this, like, to be honest with you, if, if there's a law enforcement agency that could fast track a warrant, meaning they would be online with a judge that's working 24 hours and there's a probable cause of a drunk driver, mm -hmm. I could see the benefit of that. And that's one isolated case. I think one could argue that. But there is so many pitfalls that come along with that. I would want to avoid this like the plague yes. because we don't know what we don't know and then you layer on top of that, it has been proven so many times, especially over the past, what, three years, there are bad actors that are willing to just absolutely go after private companies, mm -hmm. citizens, governments. What the hell do you think they would do with this data? Consider how politicians have, at least in Canada, have, have taken more control and more control and more control and more control. And you know, if I if I go down that cynical path, I can easily arrive at a point where this kind of power can be easily abused to the point at which, if you said something nasty about a politician or something unfavorable on social media, your car gets turned off.